What's going on adventurers? We are currently in Lakeland, Florida and we actually were just looking at this beautiful trailer camper right behind us. We're going to show you around a little bit. Huge shout out to Melanie. She was the one who brought us out here, let us look at all these different models. We're going to go inside real quick. This thing is really cool. It does have a little bit of a cricket problem though. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's actually the, um, that is the smoke alarm. So got a little step here. I do want to actually point out the off-road tires. I think these are really great. I know a lot of times like Lisa and I will see a trailer being towed down the road and we're like, the tires on that thing are so little. Like, I don't know. We, we probably worry too much, but we always are concerned about blowouts. But these are cool because you can go off the grid with these bad boys. So I'm going to take you inside real quick. Got a nice grip here. Ugh. Step up in here. The first thing that you notice when you step inside is the beautiful cabinetry and the speakers. Like there's a lot of details in here. And Melanie was telling us that this is the upgraded version. Um, I love this. This is super cool. It's got like a little grid here that covers the sink. Um, completely foldable like you can just fold that up uh, sink is very nice huge sink by the way we're gonna go ahead and put that back there you go but that's kind of cool because it sort of doubles as like a dish drainer you could just put your dishes lay them face down there once you're done washing your dishes and you're good to go they have a two burner stove here super easy to access looks like that very nice Again, they have a Jensen sound system in here, two speakers in the front, and then uh, it also has two speakers in the back here. So you basically got surround sound. I mean, this is a nice size space, but it's not huge. Also have a Jensen TV right here, guys. This particular camper has all the upgrades. I love how it has the dome lighting, the recessed lighting here all throughout. Two, four, six of those six lights in here so i'm sure that would really light it up i love this camper we were actually going to get it today but it just didn't work out when it's meant to be it's meant to be we'll probably end up with another one i'm sure it'll work out eventually so um we just don't want to overextend ourselves like we could have done it but you know that would mean taking money out of our retirement account and i just don't want to do that guys the windows are nice one of the cool features that i love about this is that it has this like the shear and then also, we could pull down the, this one uh, is basically the privacy shade. Of course, this makes a bed and it's super comfortable. I 100% love this configuration. Um, nice U-shape, there's a spot for a table down there. We have a nice high point microwave, nice refrigerator, get that. And apparently the upper part is a freezer, but it actually is removable. Never heard that before, that is pretty cool. And the thing that I love about it is you can use plug-in, you can use your propane, or you can run it off of a battery. That's really cool, like this thing is amazing. I absolutely love it. We're gonna go in the bathroom real quick. This actually does have a shower and a toilet. It's pretty big, I mean, as far as these size campers go, this is amazing, this is very, very roomy, so. I think this might be one that we are interested in. This is actually a 2020 model, which is why it would have been great. It was still going to be um, right around $30,000. It's very expensive. But this would be perfect for us in our travels. You know, as much as we have to travel back and forth from Maryland to Florida and vice versa, this would be perfect. You know, we could literally just pull over at a Cracker Barrel or a campground or a Walmart and just, you know, go to sleep for the night. Like... We could have our pets with us. That would be so cool. Here's all these switches. You've got a porch light, a front accent light, dinette accent, cabinet accents, kitchen lights, and main lights. So pretty amazing, all of the features that this offers. They do have USB plugs a couple different places, several wall outlets. This is great, guys. This would really be perfect for Lisa and I. See, there's plenty of room underneath the ki uh, kitchen sink. You just have to pull up on the drawers and pull them out, but it does provide a lot of nice space. I do also love this metal back, backsplash. That's really nice. Um, you can put some stuff up here, little bungees there. I love it, guys. I love 
this camper. So, I don't know. It, it could happen. We could definitely end up with one of these guys. Let us know what you think. We're going to show you one other one. Let us know what you guys think. This one definitely has more room than the other one we're going to look at. But they're both really nice. The only thing that I love most about this one uh, versus that one is that it does have vinyl. Although Melanie is going to check on that for us to see if the other one does offer the upgrade. And the bathroom is a little bit bigger in here. So, all right. We're going to show you outside real quick, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick walk around. Show you guys what it looks like. Again, there's the beautiful off-road tires. One of my favorite features also of this particular trailer is this panoramic window. I mean, look at this thing. And also, if I stand in front of it, it's very flattering. It's kind of like a funhouse mirror. I like that. That gets a thumbs up for sure. So this is called the Soul Rover. And they do have some storage. It's a very rugged version. Like this is basically the upgraded rugged version of this model. Like I said, um, he basically spared no expense. He got the top of the line. But super cool, guys. Kind of sad to walk away from it. But, you know, we just, like I said, we just can't do it right now at this moment in time. But I would say probably within this year, it's going to happen. Then we're going to have some amazing camping videos coming out for you guys. So this little guy right behind me was initially the reason why we decided to start looking into campers, the trailers, um, RVs, whatever you want to call them. This behind us is called a boondocks tag. And it's basically just a bed on wheels. I mean, you have your shelter. It's basically like a tent, like a glorified tent. But it's pretty cool because, you know, you can spread out, take a nap, sleep overnight. Uh, you can go off the grid with these guys because they actually do have solar on most of them. I think that's the whole thing with the boondocks because it's like out in the middle of nowhere and you're off the grid, which is the most appealing thing about these. These guys are very popular. Apparently they can't hold on to them for very long and I can see the appeal. So let me show you guys real quick. So this is basically what it looks like. It's a teardrop. I love the ruggedness of these guys. One of my favorite features of these campers is actually this right here. What? I love that. That's so cool. Okay. Anyway, so this is basically it. Like it, it's basically a bed right here. Now there is a lot of uh, storage underneath of the bed. Um, what's this? It ha it, this one does offer cup holders. It has some reading lights here. I didn't even ask her how much these guys are. But it does have an air conditioning unit there. I'm not sure what this is. This might be a heater, actually. Um, some cabinetry. And it has a door on both sides, which makes it a lot more convenient. Pretty cool. These guys are pretty awesome. So I've watched some videos about these. And most of the people said that they were pretty comfortable, but they did put an A-crate on top of this mattress. And there actually is storage underneath of these. So I do love this window here. You can basically, they call it the stargazing window because you can open it up and you can look at the stars, which I think is pretty awesome. I, I really do love these guys. I wonder how much these are. Maybe we should check and just see. We could always upgrade later. Kind of curious now how much these guys are. I'm thinking they run about 20,000. Got some bungees here. You can put your stuff so it doesn't move around. Let's go look at the next one up. I just want to show you the solar panels real quick. So they have the solar panels. And really, the shape of these is perfect to soak up the sun. I mean, the sun, if it's out, it's going to be hitting these guys. They do have different versions. I kind of like I kind of like this one here, this little silver one. Let's take a look inside that one. This is the boondock version. I believe these others are not. So let's take a look at the difference of this one and see if there's anything really noticeable. No, it looks pretty similar. This might be the same thing. It looks actually exactly the same. So I think that's exactly the same as the other one. And I'm curious to find out how much these guys run. But these actually do have a kitchen. It's right back here. I'm not going to open it up. Go ahead on YouTube, though, and check that out because that is pretty cool. It flips open there so it doesn't take away any of the internal space. Um, but that's pretty awesome. 
So this is the Tab 320. And we really love this one. Um, these are by New Camp, by the way. Now, one thing I will say is that I, I feel like, you know, I don't know. The internal, the, the bed is definitely bigger in here than the one we were just in, the um, sole. And the, it, it's very comfortable. The only thing I'll add is this is what I was saying, though, um, as far as maybe if they had a vinyl one, an option for vinyl, that would definitely be good. Let me just show you here. I love that window. All these windows you can open and they do have blinds and screens as well. So let's take a look at the bathroom real quick. I just want to show you a comparison. So now that we're inside, you can see how the bed configuration works where it does lay back. And this one does have the lighting above the bed, which is really nice. Small microwave. Let's go in the bathroom real quick. So the bathroom does have one of these little fun windows that I love. Look at that, just let the light in. The sink actually becomes the shower. If you pull the faucet up, it becomes the shower, which is pretty great. It does have a sink though, which is nice because the other, the one that we were just looking at, the sole does not have a sink in the bathroom, but it has a big enough sink in the front. So that's okay, we're not worried about that. And it does have a nice shower area, decent sized toilet and everything. So pretty cool. I do still really like these, like definitely an option for us. Uh, Here's the TV. The TV is definitely a little bit smaller, but it does have all the bells and whistles. It's got the stereo. It does have, it looks like one recessed light. So, you know, this space is a little bit smaller. It has a sink here, but it's not as deep as the one in the, in the sole. So um, there's the refrigerator. Let us know what you guys think. I'm curious to see what you guys think we should get. Here it says right here, New Camp. I do like it though. I really do like it. It's a hard decision. Now the hard part though, which one to get? So many awesome options. Uh, and they have quite a few things in inventory that we got to take a look at. So that's gonna make the decision a lot easier for us. But again, it's really hard to choose because I really do love these new camps a lot. I guess we're just gonna have to keep our eyes open. Let us know what you think. Leave us a comment and be sure to smash that like button. It's been an awesome adventure. What's up guys? So we are currently at the orthopedic surgeon's office. Lisa is getting her surgery consult. They're getting ready to take her down to x-ray right now. Hopefully we'll be able to see the x-rays. I'm hoping they're gonna put them up on the screen there so you guys can see when we see. How are you feeling right now? All right. A little nervous, but they're gonna check this, my legs out, get some x-rays, which are always interesting where they just say, okay, your knees are done. <laughs> So this but is are, are you feeling more nervous or more excited or like I, you just can't wait for it to be I'm over? Just, I'm hopeful. Hopeful. That's a great word. I'm hopeful too. I want to run. I want to walk. I don't want any pain. Yeah. And they are busy here, guys. This place is... I mean, that's a good sign. This place is crazy. Like, and literally, I don't think you're allowed in here unless you have a cane, a walker, or other. So, I'm in the right place. I'll put it that way. So, yeah. It's so. crazy, like, busy. Like, this is, like, all orthopedic. It's good to know they specialize in it. This is what they do. So I'm, I'm hopeful. I'll get started on a, a positive track for my future. Hopeful is good. We're gonna go with that, and we'll see you guys in a couple minutes when we get the X-rays back. So how was the X-ray adventure? So guys, this is a very nice facility. I must say, I must give them props. Very made me comfortable. But X-rays when you have bad knees are never easy. It's a lot of standing and turn your flexing. foot flexing bend your knee things that your knees don't want to do but they're going to bring them up on the screen here in a few minutes and the doctor will take a look and see what's up so tell me the cool thing that was in the x-ray oh, yes. facility this is my place i really think it is because favorite things were in this room <laughs> it was crazy it was actually had a decor in the x-ray room so when you walk in there's a three-foot statue of a chimpanzee guy holding a candy dish and with his name Monty but then they had the Florida motif they had like a fake little palm tree they had like candles little zen fountains Florida picture like just like you know Florida relaxation pictures so very cool very sounds pretty awesome very awesome I've never seen and then the actual, I mean, if you have to be at a doctor's office be at one that you think is really cool yeah so I felt that <laughs> I felt a good vibe good vibes only 
So there they are. There's Lisa's knees. And this is the one that she broke when she broke her femur. They're actually going to take the hardware out the same time that they do the first knee replacement. And it's going to be a robotic replacement. So really cool. I am excited because guess what? The doctor said he's never done a surgery where he took out the hardware on the one leg and did the knee robotic on the other at the same time because that will save a lot of healing. Or and it makes a lot of sense. It'll save a trip. It'll save a surgery. Yeah, because you're going to be under already. Correct. So that's going to work out really well. <laughs> and I have had a history of having to use ECV canes, which helps them progress to knee replacement, apparently. Otherwise, they have to do injections for like four or six months. But I'm like, that's not going to do any good. Right. Let's move forward. So he, he was very uh, good at agreeing with that as well. So how excited are you right now? <laughs> I won't be running and walking again. Yes. It's gonna be Robo Lisa. Robo Lisa. She's gonna be a Robo Raptor. Oh, I told you, buddy. Robo Raptor. Robo Raptor. All right. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you on our next Raptor adventure.